hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to show you my acrylic application process for some nails that i did for a co-worker who is going to coachella so she wanted some glow in the dark nails and she was originally going to coachella i think well like two years ago and then it got canceled so we've had this idea in mind for like two years basically or whenever it got like canceled and you know we finally were able to do it because she's going this weekend and my idea was to do glow in the dark and then you know pearls started coming into trend so i was like let's do both and she was like yeah let's do it you know because this isn't really her style but for you know a music festival why not so we were kind of out there and i even did it on one nail the pearls and i was like are you sure you want it like this because this is not you and she's like just do it so i was like okay and honestly they came out so cute and she's been telling me how many compliments she's been getting so i was really happy with the outcome it's definitely out there not really her style not really my style but honestly i am so obsessed with the way it came out so you know maybe for future set for myself i don't know but we wanted to do each nail a different color and i am using not polishes acrylics all of them are their two-in-one powders the, um, all of them are part of their glow collection i showed you the names of each of the colors in the beginning of the video and i also typed it on screen for you and of course i have the direct links down in my description box and in this pinky i am using a very beautiful neon pink i am using the kiara sky monomer along with the acrylic brush in the number 12 and all discount codes are linked down in the description the tips that i'm using are the crafts by nine extra long coffin no c curve tips but she likes them really really short so once you cut them down to this length it's almost like a tapered square shape because they are pretty long before you cut them so that's why they kind of look more like a tapered square or square versus coffin even though they are coffin tips but since they're extra long once you cut them down you know i use the french tip cutter i mean not the french tip cutter the pink tip cutter from crafts by nine and the kiara sky stick it nail glue but I did all of that off camera because I wanted to record just the acrylic application for this set. And, you know, I just wanted to show you guys my acrylic application in real time. So this is all in real time. And I usually don't do short nails here on my channel. I think I've only done it a handful of times because it's very rare. The only opportunity I really get to do short nails is when I'm doing it on someone else. Because when I do videos for you know practice on myself i always always go with extra long or long and so when i do short nails it's usually on either my cousin or my mom or my coworker because i don't take clients so it's usually when i do it for someone else because they like short nails this um ring finger i'm gonna be doing a very cute nude and yes, it is glow in the dark. And wait until the very end when I show you when they're all completely done. Because they are so, so bright. We were making jokes about when she's going to be at Coachella. Like, she's going to be raising her arms if they can't find her or something. If, she's get, if she gets lost. Because these are so bright. I really love the not polish um, glow in the dark powders because of how pigmented they are with the glow powder. They're just super bright and you have to try them for yourselves really to see what I'm talking about because the video that I show you in this video like does no justice. It's just super super bright and I'm not really doing like a two bead app um, method or anything i think some i did three bead some i did four i just make sure to look at it from you know side to side make sure that it's the thickness that i want that it has the right apex i also wanted to explain a little bit how i did this um how i did the primer so of course i applied the dehydrator and then the primer and my all-time favorite primer that i have not changed at all for like the last year or so has been the not polished triple x bond it works 
like magic honestly i have no problems with lifting it works so great and i've been using it for a while now so the triple x bond is a primer that i'm using and what i do is so i apply the dehydrator on all 10 nails and then i apply the primer on the hand that i'm going to work with first in her case i was doing the her right hand so i apply the first coat or first i don't know how do you say it like the first uh, like i'm having a mind fart um the first like the first application of primer <laughs> i do it on all five nails at one time and then i grab the pinky to start off because that's what i started with in this set and once i grab the pinky i apply the second coat of primer and then i do the acrylic application and then i grab the ring finger and i apply the second coat of primer for the ring finger and then i apply the acrylic and then i go into the middle finger and apply the second coat of primer and i hope that makes sense i showed it in this video as well if i'm not really making sense but i basically do two layers of primer in each set that i do and this is something i've always done really um i don't know i've just that's something i've gotten used to and it really takes me no time um i really don't like to do two coats of primer on all five nails at once because in my head i get all like antsy and i'm like oh my god what if i take forever on the application and then it dries or like it just stops it's not gonna have the same effect and then it's gonna lift and it's just like my own brain playing mind games really but i like to do it this way and i know there's like people that do one only or they do two it's just whatever you have found works for you i have done it many different ways before but this is what i have been doing for a while because i found that it works for me i found that it has i've had no lifting um as you know i don't take clients so it's basically on myself or like family members that i do nails on only and i have found no lifting when i have done it this way i make sure that my um actual application is good that i'm sealing the cuticle that you know everything i'm trying to do it to see if there is any lifting i go back and see what the problem is it might be the product i noticed when i was using a different primer before i had been using it consistently for a long time and saw no problems with it then i started to notice some lifting and i actually looked at the actual product itself and it was like a different color than the original and i had been using it for so long so it looked nothing like the one that i had received before so i contacted the company and they said it probably was a bad batch because i always bought it from that company you know straight from their website i never buy those kind of things from local nail supply stores or anything so i contacted them let them know sent them a picture and they were like oh it's probably a bad batch and so i just stopped buying from them and then i switched over to the not polished one and i haven't looked back ever since and i just absolutely love it so definitely get your hands on it you know packaging gets me alone because i love the packaging and i just love the way it works it really is like magic so so i also did the whole filing e-file and like all of that process off camera this really was just like an acrylic application video and then at the end i just showed you the result of the nails which i like i said was completely obsessed with so last but not least here i am doing the thumb and her left hand was the exact same as the right and yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i do have a few like q a questions that i received on my last video so thank you guys so much for commenting your questions on my last video i will be answering them in the next one because i pretty much spoke throughout this entire one so if you guys have any questions Comment them down below in this video. Any nail related questions you may have, let me know down in the comments so that I can talk more about them in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video and I hope she has so much fun at Coachella. Bye guys.
します。